Aloha all and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I'm Paper Mario Guy and I'm still heated after that little encounter in the driving school. That stupid last mission got me super pissed off. Really, really angry. Uh, <laughs> I feel like uh, Anakin Skywalker. I'm just letting the hate flow through me and I'm going to use that hate to finish off the Loco Syndicate, because we still have one of those boys, one of those motherfuckers, Mike Torino, who we have not taken care of. So it's been a little while. I don't know how many episodes it's been since we've looked at the Loco Syndicate, but it's been a little while. We went and did the woozy stuff. We went and helped out Zero. We went and did the driving school, right? Um, now, it's time to get back to business. So we only actually have two more missions left in San Fierro, believe it or not. Um, those those missions are uh, coming up. So Mike Torino, you better run. You better hide while you can because Carl Steve Harvey Johnson has the rage of a thousand suns in him right now. And he's going to let you feel every bit of it. got some information for you. Hey, Woozy, what's the business? My man found that van you were looking for by the helipad downtown. And Torino? Yep, he's there. Apparently he's about to take some merchandise and cut out by helicopter. They've already started loading boxes. Something about Torino don't add up. Holler back if you hear something. Yeah, Torino does seem pretty suspicious. He seems very out of place considering the other people we were working with. Working with uh, two gang leaders, essentially, with Ryder and T-Bone Mendez, and then a pimp. And then you have this guy in a suit. Kind of, you know, kind of out of place. One of these things is not like the other. But a quick trip downtown will get us to where we need to go. And we can get the show on the road. Ooh, I just saw a rocket. Oh, why? Oh, I'm just getting attacked from from all angles by a bunch of people. They don't even know me. They don't know who I am or why I'm here. They saw. Oh, look at look at Carl Steve Harvey Johnson. Well, I guess they don't know who I am, so they couldn't even say that. Is Torino trying to get away. I don't know who he thinks he is. Where's the rocket? Oh, okay, the rocket launcher's over here. 120. That's a little excessive, don't you think? Get on the freeway. Okay, yeah. That's why I grabbed the bike, by the way. I think uh, if you grab, like, a... N didn't want to have to kill both of those guys, but didn't want to deal with it either. Yeah, um... Yeah, I think the bike just makes this a little easier than if you have to drive in a car and get out. You know, just faster to get in and out of the car, and then it's also a little easier, I would say, to... You know, get things back up and and running. Alrighty. So what you have to do here for this is drive a decent bit ahead. Well, okay, great. Bam. Nope. Because they're starting to explode before they even get close. Okay, hopefully I didn't fail the mission. So I let it get far away. They shot my back tire. It's like, what are, what are the odds of that? Now I gotta deal with this. Now I gotta deal with this. Yeah, this is... This is insane. Okay. This helicopter does not seem to be moving. Hopefully... Oh. As I say that... Welcome to San Andreas. Of course! Why were you putting... <laughs> Do you guys see this game sometimes? Do you just see how, like, random it can be? And just how, like, the AI can be so dumb? Like, what reason did that police officer really have 
to take his bike and try to get onto it on the edge of that bridge. Like, if he would have just let me kill him, I could have taken his bike, I would have been fine, but no. Instead, we had to wait for another guy. Alright, so this helicopter really does not go very far. I guess it's kind of hard to uh, lose this mission. Um, it's also pretty hard to pass it because I suck, apparently. Yeah, I knew he was going to hit that fucking pole. It's like, it doesn't... There are some inconsistencies in the hitboxes in this game that, that really bother me. Where is this? Where is this thing going? Where is this stupid fucking helicopter trying to run off to? Like, can you please just stay still? Stay where you were? Like, why are you going to hang out and wait for me to get there? And then the second I get there, you're going to drive away. Like, goddamn annoying. Oh my god, and I'm run, run over. Ah! Fucking finally. Oh, and then am I going to die? No, 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 I'm not going to die. Fuck that. <laughs> no way. Okay. Alright, so that took a, actually a little bit longer than I wanted to. I mean, it wasn't a super long mission. But, yeah, I mean, I think ideally you can finish that mission in like, uh, like two minutes. You know, most of the mis mission is really just driving there to get uh, to the helicopter. But, of course, some random shenanigans happen with a police officer, you know, Throwing his bike off of a bridge, the back of my dirt bike getting shot off. I do not have the patience for stuff like that. And then the rocket goes away? Why? Why? Why give me 120 rockets and then just not allow me to keep any of them? As you can see, I'm very agitated in this episode. It's all because of that stupid driving school. It just got my blood going, you know, or my blood boiling, you know, I'm just, I'm a little on edge right now, cause I hate when stupid stuff like that happens. Oh, yeah, of course. Don't let me have the rockets, but let that, that bike that's all the way back there just stay spawned. Ugh. Alright. Enough of my anger and my negativity. We are actually going into the final mission of San Fierro, so we should rejoice. Let's get into it. Carl! You're a fucking hero down in LS. I just spoke to my cousin. Not with my people, I ain't. Shit's still fucked up. Man, I got homies I used to run with that turn their back on me over this. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do, huh? Fucking Ryder, man. That was my homie. And I killed fucking midget deserved it, eh? Little asshole tried to bang your sister, you know that? No. For real? Shit. Maybe you right then, man. But... Cheer the fuck up. You're going soft on me, man. You did something good, eh? Yes, you did. But this isn't over yet. What you mean? Well, your former friends have a factory. And the way I see it, if you take that out, you will have put them out of business for good. Yeah. TJ. Who was it? I work for Woozy. He told me to call you. I will suck. I'm rigging a car with explosives so you can take out the crack factory. Drop around the garage downtown. Cool. I'll be at you in a minute. All right, so we gotta go get this wired car from the bomb shop and we're gonna go take out uh, the source of all evil and well, well not the the entire source i don't want to say that obviously we still have a lot of game left to go but we're making a major dent in big smokes crack operation with this mission and we are going to as the title of this mission says we're gonna make that yay go kaboom boom um we're gonna blow shit up. This is always fun. But enjoy the last little scenery that we have here in San Fierro. I'm sure we'll stop back here for some reason, but San Fierro, once you leave it, is not, you know, especially if you do what you need to do in San Fierro, after you're done with the missions, 
There really isn't a big reason to come back. She's packing enough to take out that crack lab. I've wired in a delay timer to give you time to get out. Cool, good luck. So while I drive to the crack lab, I have an interesting question for those of you who are watching. Do you feel as though a game such as this one, which came out many years ago at this point, deserves leeway for the technical limitations at the time? Because I was having this conversation the other day with a friend about uh, Ocarina of Time, because like Ocarina of Time is just like, I don't know. It's just a, it's a popular game. Just going over like, oh, it's Ocarina of Time as good as everybody says it go, it, you know, it is and all this stuff. And uh, you know what the thing is, and I'm stringing this into San Andreas because as I go through and I play the game, like I see cutscenes like that one, or I see little glitches like I saw in the other one, and like I feel as though people really fault this game for those. And I guess there's no reason for them not to be faulted, but at the same time, I do recognize that, uh... I do recognize that, uh... Oh my god, they're just blasting me. I don't know why I'm pistoling them. Some local bastard is blasting on our homeboys! Get out there and kill the fool! Yeah, that's gonna work. But yeah, no, no, anyway, so because I am I know I'm going to get distracted. I get distracted so e very easily. I believe that because this game came out in 2004 and, like, graphics were not what they were and all that stuff, that, like, when those little things happen, like, I, I don't really let it bother me. Like, it doesn't, doesn't take me out of the experience. Like, yeah, I noticed it, so I guess that's a bad sign, but I feel like it, it's just not... It's not so dent detrimental that I feel I'm going to say that the game is worse as a result of it, if you know what I mean. But like when I was talking with my friend about the, uh, you know, about Ocarina of Time, we were talking about graphics and stuff like that. And it's like, well, if Ocarina of Time was made today with those graphics, you know, would you feel the same way? You know, would you feel like it's, a, you know, I just, I don't know. I guess graphics and technical aspects of games just don't really mean anything to me. And I guess they do mean a lot to other people. But yeah, like little glitches, little things like that. As long as they're not game breaking, like they don't bother me. Like if, if a character is in a scene, like I want a polished game. Like I'm not saying that like I'm going to just play like whatever trash. Oh my god, there's so many guys I'm just not paying attention. Alright, fine. But yeah, I just don't let the little things like that really get to me. Or bother me. And I wonder if that is... You know, true with some of you guys. Um, so let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'm interested. Or I'm sure there's more bad guys. I'm at really low health. Now you better shut up. Got a fucking problem with me? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Keep on rolling, keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Don't blame me, blame society. Get in that car. Right now. Oh my god, can you see my health? There is no health. Any hit will kill me at this point. And this car is already in really bad shape. That killed me? Oh my god. And all we have to do is ramp out of here. So, they're going to be blocking our path. Got plenty of momentum. And now we just have to get back to the garage and everything will be hunky-dory. So, not a bad mission. Just, uh, you know, pay attention unlike me. Because um, then you'll have to do it twice. 
Whereas if you just focus, you'll do it right the first time. Bam! 25 Gs. Look at that. That's nice. And that's it. That's the last mission for San Fierro. So I hope you guys enjoyed the San Fierro missions in the San Fierro area. Um, we will be back eventually, but it won't be for a little while. So in the meantime, thank you guys for 